I didn't see you there. I'm lying. I was just watching some YouTube videos on my TV. <sighs> Anyways, my name is Brad, and this is my. Anyways, my name is Brad, and this is my video. Anyways, my name is Brad, and this is my video response to Edwin Cooks becoming, becoming YouTube. First of all, yes, I know, I've already made a video response to becoming YouTube, but my first one was really not that good. And this week's episode was actually really interesting, and so I wanted to do a video response about it. In case you haven't seen it, this week's episode was about YouTube versus television, and whether or not they'll ever merge into one big ultra entity thing. And so, in this video, I'm going to share with you my opinion and my prediction about that. Opinions! Yeah! Okay, so, in my opinion, I think that there are a few fundamental differences that will virtually make it impossible for the two to ever completely merge into one thing. The popularity of shows versus the popularity of the people. You'll understand what that means when I explain it a little later. Audience interaction, accessibility, and just culture in general. I think that TV shows and YouTubers are popular for different reasons. On TV, television programs tend to become popular due to the show itself, like the writing or the acting or the plot. Obviously, reality television doesn't count, but I think that should barely be considered television anyway. Don't tell my mom I said that. Whereas YouTubers generally are popular for themselves, for their personality and the videos they make. Chances are you won't watch a scripted television show just because you like an actor in it. I mean, it's possible, but chances are you're watching the show more for the plot itself and the acting than the actual actor, him or herself. Where on YouTube, people will watch a YouTuber for the person that they are. Like, they might like their personality, and so they'll watch their videos. I mean, and not all their videos may be excellent or up to par, but people, people will still watch them and like them because they like the person who's making the videos. On YouTube, if you watch a video and you like it, you can like it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it. And you can always comment and say what you thought about the video. On television, you can't really do that. If you're watching a show and you like it, you can't really, like, push a like button on the TV. I mean, that'd be cool, but you can't do it. And similarly, you can't, like, dislike a television episode because you didn't like it, because that's not how it works. And you can't leave comments for other people to see. Content creators on YouTube get to hear what their audience wants directly from the videos that they upload. Television producers don't really have the same access to their audience as YouTubers do, and so generally television producers can't really gauge their audience as well as YouTubers can. Basically anybody, as long as you have a camera and a YouTube account, can be a YouTuber and upload videos to YouTube and have an audience. Television is a lot more exclusive. You can generally only be on television if you're an actor, or maybe you're just someone who likes to party and wants to end up on Jersey Shore. But for the most part, television is a lot more exclusive than YouTube, and I feel like YouTube is popular just because of its accessibility, because anybody can do it, and anyone can upload videos. Where on TV, not just anybody can upload a television program to the network. I mean, that'd be really cool, but no, it doesn't work that way. And last but not least, I think that television will stay the way it is just because it's so ingrained in our culture. I mean, that thing has been around for how long? 50, 60 years? I mean, not that specific television, but just television in general, you know what I mean. And the internet is fairly new, and like, YouTube is pretty new, it's only like 8 years old or something, correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be wrong. And so it's not as ingrained in our culture as television is. I mean, yes, internet is a big part of our culture, but it just hasn't been around as long as television. Television is just a bigger part of our lives, I think. And I feel like it'll always stay that way. Yes, there is some crossing over that goes on, like being able to watch television on your computer, like with Netflix, or being able to watch YouTube on your TV, like I was just doing. And there probably will be some more bigger crossovers in the future. And I would like to say that the internet and YouTube in specific are going to just stay where they are, because I kind of like them the way they are how YouTube is, like, not necessarily in the mainstream, and this vlogging thing is, like, our secret that nobody knows. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that YouTube will get bigger and bleed into the mainstream, but I don't think that television and YouTube are ever going to become the same thing, and that is probably for the best. But either way, I'm confident that YouTube and the internet will manage to thrive and survive for a long while yet. <sighs> I wanted to have, like, some really dramatic ending line, but I just couldn't think of one. So on that note, I'll be Zucky seeing you later. <sighs> I need to come up with a better catchphrase.